Hello and welcome back to another day in the arena. It's me, it's CGB, and I am so excited today to be playing Brawl on the official Magic the Gathering Arena YouTube channel. Outlaws of Thunder Junction Alchemy has released, and they have printed one of the stompiest Naya creature commanders of all time. What if you just got incredible value for playing those beautiful big Timmy creatures that we all love to cast? Well, that's what the Emperor is here to do. Emperor Apatzek Intili the fourth is a three mana three four and whenever another creature enters the battlefield under your control that creature perpetually gains haste if its power is four or greater if the toughness is four or greater you gain four life and if the mana value is four or greater you seek a creature card it's value it's life gain it's aggression all tied into one and all you have to do is play the largest and strongest creatures so that's what the deck is full of the cards that come down and do amazing things there are so many cards that are balanced around the idea that maybe they don't attack the turn they come out or maybe they don't draw a card when you play them and this blows that all up your bane slayer angels your lyra Dawnbringer, your elish norn mother of machines doubles your triggers your glory Bringer, your gold span dragon, your terror of the peaks all get you more cards. Your elder Gargroth can attack the turn you play it and gets you a card. The Pantlaza, the Voja, the list goes on and on. The Titans, the dinosaurs. It's the kind of deck that really ignites the inner fire. And as a blue mage, I, I don't take this lightly. It makes Naya so much fun what you need to know about the deck play cheap interaction because cards like swords to plowshares and lightning bolt are very important play cheap ramp cards delighted halfling is amazing into the north is amazing cast your commander in the mid game and then slam powerful creatures don't worry guys if that seems complicated i'll show you how it's done let's dive in let the nonsense begin no red mana darn the hand was looking good Okay. Yeah, this is fine. Roxanne versus Roxanne. Rocks on rocks. Give me a land. With a land. Give me more lands. That's not a land. Good surveil. That's not a land either. Play this uh, hexproof critter in case they wanted to blow up the cold steel heart. What do I gotta do to draw land? More, apparently. I have to do more. Let's drop the revels. Do not kill my paradise druid. Do not. Well, there we go. Magic is fun! Here, I got a rock. I'm sure they've got a rock too. Triple green for Kogla. Yeah, uh, that's probably GG. I, I guess I can swords it. The land advantage is so much now. Okay. Dude. <laughs> no chill over here. None at all. That is a land. They might run out of lands for the Myth Weaver. They might also run out of payoffs. So we could, like, drop Roxanne, but I think... I think the play is our commander. And get the Pawk off the field. Make them find a way to kill this. Yeah, they had another land. They have a Delina. Okay, that's really good at copying the commander. Sus. It's so they can play Roxanne and kill the Emperor. Fortunately, Delina dies to a meteorite. Eowyn. 
Eowyn can take out the commander, but then they just recast it. They have plenty of mana. This is the play. Get rocked! Again! Oh, it's so good! Light him up! You want to block? Yeah, you do. Yours comes back, mine doesn't. That makes sense. But, still worth it. More meteors. Endless meteors. Oxyan has that Golos effect. The card kind of pays for itself every time you cast it. More meteors. So, we gotta start taking the legs out from under them. I've got just the thing. Is that a monkey? We fight. And we destroy. We don't have a mana to activate that Mind Stone, so let's hit it. Now watch this. Oh, is this a human? Synergy. Indestructibility. And now your board is decimated. Our opponent says, I have a meteor. You got me. <laughs> Ooh, that's a draw. 29 health. We do actually have work to be done. Lightning bolt it. Do we? Or do we play like the war chief and just go to work? Well, Ketra's also kind of insane. Let's attack. I don't want that weapon coming out. They take seven. Yeah, let's... Let's get headed to the top, top rope. Show what our deck is truly capable of. If this is on the field with our commander, it's gonna get stupid. Panharmonicon's a good one. Primeval Titan is a heck of a magic card. Do they have any cool lands? Copperline Gorge, Castle Garenbrig, not too scary. Oh, Panharmonicon, they get another pair. And an Armored Scrappy, a little graveyard hate in the Mana Dork category. Uh, kill my commander, sure. Kill your commander. Roaming throne, huh? Oh my goodness. So many good options. Obviously, the Aeon on the Primeval Titan is nasty. But I really just want to do this thing with my commander so bad. And that's what Brawl is about. Doing the thing. I make a 4-4. Trigger. Nice. The business. No more Panharmonicon. That's too good. Full on slugfest mode. Yep. You are a primeval titan. Two more lands, including a layer of the Hydra that we have to watch for, and a scoop. <laughs> the value is just never ending. We had five lands. Our opponent had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Crazy. Ooh, we ramp and we ramp and we ramp. I keep. Nothing like some good ramp to do some ramping with.
commander? Nah. Although I kind of forgot. I don't. I should have played the confluence. Oh, or the forest. Oh, cringe. Oh. Oh, don't tell anybody about this. I feel really dumb. Slime foot and squee. Sapperling. Sure. Mill four, put two. Put two from hand on the battlefield. Power four or greater, gain hexproof and indestructible. Nice card. Nice, nice card. Are they going to kill this? I think they are. Power four or greater. Crap. How much is it to do multiple modes? One, two, three, four, plus five, six, five, six, seven, eight mana. That's a lot of mana. Yeah, I definitely cooked myself on this one. Let's see if they kill my commander though. If they do, we have enough to recast again and then again. While we find the cards to go with it. Our opponent having to do some ramping. Itali in the graveyard. That 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 seems like a problem. <laughs> that seems like a problem with Slimefoot and Squee out there. So if you block and kill it, it comes out of the graveyard. You gotta keep it alive. Questing beast mode, huh? Woo! Let's go. Let's see what we can hit. Nice. That's another dinosaur for the hammer skull. Oh, the value. So much value. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This could get exciting. Yeah, no blocks. I, I know what you're going to do. Maybe they sacrifice it here and bring it back. Show me a village rights. Very exciting. Pelucranos. A fighter. Now, this is an instant. I can wait for the fight to be on the stack, right? They have the mana for it. So wait for the action. Damage can't be prevented. Interesting. What does that mean? What does that mean for a Pelucranos? Let's see. You want to target my halfling? I have a response. Ooh. <laughs> oh, baby. Greater power? That's the 6-6, six, six, right? Bang. Exile. Trigger. Trigger. Oh, my lord. What is happening? What is happening? Holy crap. <laughs> My board. My board has exploded. Underrealm Lich. Pay for life gain indestructible. Tap it. Okay. I get to do some of this stuff. Oketra. Can't be countered in case, you know, you were thinking about it. Trigger. Goreclaw. If I had one more mana, Goreclaw would be absolutely insane. It's still insane. Let's go with the Hammer Skull, though. Triggers. Um, yeah, that'll gain haste, gain four life. <laughs> that'll gain haste, gain four life, discover. Lightning Bolt. <laughs> uh, bolt your Lich. Pay for life. 
Yeah, you do. I basically bolted their face for four. The thing is, they're probably going to a tally next turn. Send. We send. We send it. Back and down from no one. I mean, what could an Itali do? What's the worst thing that could happen? They do need to have a Saproling left, so they can't block with all of them. Whoa, they took a lot. They go to three. Okay, here we go. What's the worst that could happen? Hoarding Broodlord. A tutor, huh? I'm sure... I'm sure that does nothing bad. Okay, they go for Itali. Itali gets what? Uh-huh. Wait, what? Good thing I'm at 45. Am I okay? Wait, am I okay? Crater hoof? Not like this. Okay. Oh, they sacked one of the saprolings. What are they getting? They got a broodlord. They have no mana. Oh wait, but they can convoke whatever card they get, right? Yeah, the card you get has convoke. So, how do you live? How do you live? This can attack, this can attack, this can attack, this cannot attack, this can attack. This cannot attack. They have one, two, three, four, five creatures? Six creatures that they can convoke with? They have to deal me 45? This can't block. We have one, two, three, four, ten toughness. Ten plus four. Fourteen toughness. This is insane. What is it? What's in the box? No timeouts, gotta go. Gotta go. Virtue to go to five. One attacker. I declare cowardice. We don't want this in the graveyard. No, we do not. We do not want this in the graveyard. <laughs> It'll come back. Also indestructible. Swords to plows. When he attacks, each creature you control with power four or greater gets plus one plus one in trample. Interesting. It gains haste if its power is four or greater. Interesting. <laughs> I mean, it's not Crater Hoof. It's just your friendly neighborhood Gore Claw. <laughs> but it should be enough. Sure. Do we Lyra them or do we War Chief them? This war chief is net better. Oh no, Lyra, I can play without using the confluence. Confluence can be swords. Back to 41. Woo! We move to combat. Everything gets plus one plus one, and yes, you guessed it. Trample. 
Who needs crater hoof? We have gore claw. I just noticed our opponent is mediocre bear. Gore claw, anything but mediocre. Sauron the Dark Lord. Let's go. I am so ready for this. Lanoir Elves, Wolf Willow Haven, Elder Gargaroth is a curve we could do. Could also just get our Emperor out. Against Grixis, they're really likely to kill it though. You want to play the Emperor at a time when we can get value? I don't know how reasonable that is though. Also, ooh, do I want to play the Lanoir Elves here? Because the issue is I might not have the right mana. Like we're actually missing a mana type and getting Jetmere's Garden fixes it. So I think that's the play. Slow down a little. Grixis is not gonna mess around. Let's make sure we have our colors. They are going to surveil off the sewers and keep. Yeah, let's go with Haven. Lanoir Elves, a little bit of a lightning rod. Double surveils. All keeping on top. Love struck beast makes a one one no priority let's go with human because our commander really wants to resolve and let's run out the emperor if they kill it we can play it again next turn make them kill it twice and then we'll run out like gargaroth thrag tusk yep <laughs> First removal spell, a smashing success. Let's try again. Their deck probably has like 20 of these. Just typical Grixis stuff. So we've got to eat up the removal. They're not going to let us just have these together. However, might want to start blowing up their land. Ooh, mana open, huh? Mana open. So, put something on the stack, then they'll kill this. Probably. <laughs> I think I want to Dust Bowl them. Look at all those beautiful non-basic lands you have. Let's start lighting them on fire. Nice. <laughs> so, probably a counter spell. Some kind of on the stack interaction is what was being held there. Not much else makes sense. <laughs> and now they've got a ramp. Oh, they have opened the door. They have opened the door for the value train. Mythy. Let's wait for a land. Trigger. So good. I would like to draw a card. Ooh. It's like the greatest Elder Gargaroth deck of all time. The one thing it couldn't do, draw a card when it entered and or have haste. Emperor fixes all of that. I 
think they want to blow up the board. Feels like a board wipe. We hold. Hey, did you know this has reach? They pass. Oh my goodness. <gasps> Hawk plus strand? That's so good. I think they have a counter spell though. So let's, as much as I love the haste, let's make them act, right? Make them act. Especially if I get to draw a card off this Gargaroth. Feel the value. Notion Thief. They're going to steal my draw? Is that fine? No, I worked hard for that draw. That is not fine. Not today. <laughs> my draw. Mine. On the draw against Campbell, Profiteering Mayor, they want to steal my tokens? I don't need tokens, do I? Does this deck need tokens? I'm keeping. We're going to play the Curator. This card is sweet. Sometimes it draws cards. Not always. <laughs> there are a wide variety of creature types. It has its moments. Worst case, it's usually just a ramp card. Dark Ritual. Fair and balanced. So they can play their commander on turn two. Okay. Sure. You did it. <laughs> then what? I uh, block. All the chip damage from this thing. Uh, okay, intangible virtue. Okay. With all, I was going to say, with all the chip damage from this thing, I don't think I want to be just taking two if I don't absolutely have to. I think it's worth the risk. Let's put the Haven on the mountain and cast our commander. Any removal spells, opponent? First removal spell located. Okay. Voice of the Blessed can get bigger when they... It's whenever they create a token, right? We lose a life and they gain a life. Okay. Uh, do we fire up a commander again? Seems good. I mean, it's what the deck does. What? Oh, because it's my only white source. Yeah. Wear them out. You got to run them out of removal. What else can you do? Most decks in Brawl are either no removal or all removal. You just identify which one you're with and try to run them out of it. That's really the only thing that this creature pile can do. If they spend a lot of it on the commander, then hopefully you find another value engine. The gardener might really help. Cool. Another one. Anything else? One, two, three, four, five, six. What you got? Come on. <laughs> Come on. Is that all you've got? Is that the best you can do?
You see it though, you feel the tension. They're down to two cards and they have the flashback right, but there's nothing they want to sacrifice. And then on my side, I've got this handful of cards. Eventually it's gonna come after you, Elish Norn. When a source an opponent controls deals damage to you or a permanent you control, they lose two life unless they pay one. Sacrifice three other creatures. Sure. One, two, three, four, five. Smash for five. I think we just hold it because in one more turn we can smash for far greater. So what's the play this turn? Let's get the gardener down. So we make more mana. In that life. Play the Boonbringer Valkyrie. You, you fly. Land onto the battlefield. <laughs> Land card into hand. Lifelink coming through. Do not really care about the Elish Norn. I am down to 30. Now what? The second they blinked, look what happened. Okay. They drew swords to plowshares, sure. Why not? <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hey, we could play it again. Ophiomancer, make a snake, drain me. The technology. Boom, boom. Get those off my battlefield. I'll let him keep the snake. They might use it with Rite of Oblivion, but that's most of their turn to get rid of the Valkyrie, which paves the way for our future monsters. Cathar's Crusade, huh? Whenever a creature enters the battlefield, a plus one, plus one counter on each creature. Let's go to work. Yep. So they can't block the questing beast. We spike field hazard the one, one or the face. They're dead. 